an assault within the shelter. Isn't this pushing the limits of our authority? This entire mission's under my jurisdiction. Even so, shouldn't we report in? And perhaps wait for Brianek's arrival, so we can work in conjunction. But that'd be your call, sir. What, are you kidding? And let them get all the credit? Not likely. That's not what I'm saying. It's just they're, well... It's just that they're what? Oh yeah, that's right. They're the special elites. And how'd they get that way? They proved themselves on the battlefield, that's how they did it. I tell ya, we gotta take advantage of every opportunity. And just how many more opportunities do you think we'll really get after this? I'll tell you how many, none! And that's why we gotta make the most of each opportunity, no matter how small. You want better rations and booze? If you want to improve your lot in this world, you'd best do things my way, Archibald. Hey, nobody said anything about any rough stuff when I signed on. And I only agreed to all of this because they promised me the girl wouldn't be hurt. I'm responsible for her. And my whole reputation as a drifter will be at stake. Uh, I mean, um, I'm not trying to tell you how to do your job or anything. It's just, well, there have been so many unexpected changes and developments, you know? I was hoping maybe for a bonus to help compensate. <laughs> uh! Huh? What's a kid doing here? Jeez, he sure caught me in an embarrassing moment. <sighs> Let us make a promise here and now Walking together and touching hand Let us make a promise, make it true Never again to cry alone Shadow uh, Is someone there? Uh, uh, sorry, it's just I've never seen a real girl before I've only heard about them I didn't mean to interrupt your song Hi, I'm Jude. You... So you don't live here, do you? No. Those men in uniform captured me and locked me in here. That's what I thought. Don't worry. I'll find a way to get you out of there. I promise. Where'd that come from? There. Look, I know that this mission was last minute and all, but I can't believe they sent me after some little girl. What do you want with Yuli? Why can't you leave her alone? Why do we have to fight one another? The war... The war is supposed to be over, isn't it? So, why are you doing this? The war? Over? What are you talking about? Is that what you think? That the war's over? What'll it take to open your eyes? If I beat her within an inch of her life, and tear the rest of you to shreds, will you finally understand? <sighs> you say you want peace, but what's that in your hand, huh? It's a weapon. And look at this city. It's dead. Just like the rest of this world, destroyed by weapons! The war ain't over! Everybody is just pretending! Pretending not to see what's right in front of their damn eyes! You bunch of punks! I haven't lost, you hear me? That arm, it didn't beat me! Ah, screw the mission. Like, I give a damn whether the brat's unharmed or not. 
I'm gonna rip her guts out! The mission objectives must be executed at all costs. No excuse or deviation will be tolerated. Kresnik! What are you, my keeper or something? Man, what an annoying bastard. Listen, your assignment here entailed bringing in the girl unharmed. But if you allow your emotions to cloud your judgment, I'll have to report you in. And I'll be your judge, jury, and executioner. Right here, right now, if necessary. <laughs> like I give a rat's ass about your rules. Stay out of my way, Kresnik. I don't need a wet rag like you cramping my style. <laughs> my, my. Where do you plan to go? Don't you know? There's nowhere to escape on this ship. Oh? Don't tell me you're defending that coward. No. Then what are you doing standing in front of me with that battered and bloody body of yours? Arnaud's not a coward. Well, if he isn't the poster child for cowardice, then who is? Not only did he surrender immediately just to save his own hide, but he was ready to betray you all at the drop of a hat. No! How many times do I have to say it? Arno is not a coward! Arno is... Arno's our friend! And friends, look out for each other! <laughs> What in the world? Jude! Maximum power! What the hell am I supposed to? Arno! Arno, you saved us! Thank you so much! Uh, yeah. But how can we escape now? Maybe there are others. Let's go look. <laughs> Will it help if... if I hold your hand? I'm sorry. I'm such a coward. My intellect is the only thing I've got going for me. That may be so, but your intellect alone didn't save us. It was also your heart. I don't know if you'll believe me, but I've always wanted to become a better person. And more... more of a man. Hey, your hands, they're really cold. Who has done such a thing? You! You're the ones that did this! You're the ones... think this is the way out, don't you, Arno? Then we'll just have to trust your instincts. They called me Specimen WG920B+. And the only things they gave me were meals and a bed, along with bitterness, pain, and loneliness. And in return, they sought in me the ability to drive arms. The environmental repair nanomachines scattered throughout our world. And the ability to control the arm devices. All my fears, the utter despair in my heart, they manifested themselves and took on the shape of terrible beasts. This wasn't at all the power to heal the planet. 
but in fact, a tool for utter destruction. I hated it, this frightening power. I wanted to rid myself of it. At first, I didn't know what to do, but I could see the adults were pleased. Eventually, I internalized this terrible power, this power which took on the form of monstrous beasts. That's it. If I do exactly what they want, then the others, the other children, will be freed from these awful experiments. No one has to suffer anymore. My determination enabled me to raise my drive compatibility coefficient. But as my drive coefficient rose, the others began to disappear from the facility, one by one. It wasn't until much later that I learned what happened to them. Nick. Is that? Yeah. I see him too. It isn't a mirage or anything. But is it really him? Kresnik. Why is it that you seek me? Why do you want this terrible power? Do you seek it for yourself or for others? If you really need me, Kresnik, then I'll go with you. But if this power will be used to cause pain and suffering in others... I need you because there are others who want that power. The future of our world depends on it. Yuli... You must understand, Yuli. There's more to power than just destruction. With that power of yours, we can pick up the pieces and fix all that is broken. Look at this world. This war-ravaged land. The crushed spirit of its people. It's for them that I use my power. It's for them that I serve as a Briodek. Come with me, Yuli. With your power, we can restore peace and happiness to this world together. And you'll never be alone or live in fear again. Now, put your hand in mine, Yuli. Wait! Yuli, is that, is that really your brother? <sighs> I can't quite explain it, but your brother Kresnik, well, Kresnik, he wasn't such a smooth talker. He didn't try and trick you with words. Instead of relying on words, he took action. And his actions, they spoke for themselves. Our arms are a direct link to our hearts. When we fought, I saw the truth. Yuli, after all that you've been through, I understand your uncertainty. That's precisely why I want you to put your trust in me. If you do, I know all your doubts will be swept away. And you will be able to see the truth. No, Yuli! Let us make a promise here and now. Walking together, hand touching hand. Let us make a promise, make it true. Never again to cry alone. <gasps> what a beautiful song. You'll have to sing it for me again later. <sighs> are you... are you really my brother? In this entire world, all we have is each other, Yuli. So why is it that you won't trust me? Don't be fooled, Yuli! 
Mom? You have got some nerve interfering in our reunion. You're like a cancer, which destroys the order that we bring to this world. Damn, I didn't mean to. It's all clear now. Stop pretending to be my brother. Stop doing these cruel things! Just what are you talking about, Yuli? You can't fool me anymore. If you don't know our song, there's no way you can be my brother. My brother Kresnik, he was strong but kind. But you... You're not the brother I love! <laughs> I'm quite impressed that you saw through my illusion of Commander Kresnik. It looks as though you've overcome your doubts about your brother, too. When you took his form, it forced me to reaffirm what was in his heart. Kresnik was kind, and he always watched over me. And so I... I've been able to come to terms with everything that he has said and done, and accept it all. Then come with me now. After all, it's your brother's wish. I'm afraid that I can't. What?! Because you're a liar, and someone who preys on people's fears. Time. Just who are you? Gone? Uh huh. Remember how I had told you that I had been searching for someone? And that he was the one that I was looking for? Well, his name is Hauser Blackwell. He was a celebrated hero during the war. But now that it's over, he's wanted as a war criminal. He's the Black Reaper. Jude, get out of the way. I'm taking him in. And one more thing. You'll be coming with me. You, Leah Trady. The Brionac forces will be taking you into custody. Gone? What is wrong with you? You're like a totally different person! Yes, I suppose so. Today I'm acting in my... capacity as a member of the elite Brionac forces, as Gone Braudia. You deceived us? All this time? You were lying? Uh, no, it's not like that. Believe me, I really did like all of you kids. And that's the honest truth. But... Well, I guess... It doesn't matter what I say at this point, does it? If that's how you feel... Then surely you can understand our position. Yuli is a very good friend of ours. We're not about to just hand her over. 
I wouldn't expect any less from you kids. But I'm an adult, and I've got a job to do. There's no way I can just back away. All that just to take on a couple of kids? <laughs> Some adult you are. Do you see these soldiers? And weapons? Not to mention myself as well. We've assembled this entire force just to take you out. So don't even think that you have a chance of escaping! That kind of power is what scorched the planet. You continue to feed the flames of war with your arrogance. Why the hell can't you see that? Ah! No, please don't! No, don't let the anger and frustration take over. You know that's not what you really want. go with you and I won't resist so please please don't do anything that might end up hurting someone Miss Yuli Yuli there's no other way Jude we can't avoid all these guns and escape and besides I swore to myself that I'd stop running away that I'd fight my own fight but Yuli! And Kresnik will be there too. I'm sure that... I'm sure he'll watch over me. That's why... But... Yuli... But you're shaking! Please don't worry, Jude. If we part ways with a smile, I'm sure we'll meet again someday. May the blessings of St. Calusian be with you always. Gone! Gone, I thought. I thought that... I had hoped that you would be different. Well, kid, what you see is what you get with me. How you feel about it is up to you. You need to grow up, Arno. Yeah? Don't worry. I'd sooner die than grow up to be anything like you. <laughs> That's pretty harsh, isn't it, kid? Absorb the energy from the explosion to increase its size? Does that mean it saved us?
all here. We've got to combine our powers. The future of this world depends on it! Even if we take separate paths, we're working toward the same future. You know that, right? Yes, but... Besides, I have something for you. And until it's safely in your hands, I have no intention of going very far. All right, Kresnik. But... Promise that you'll be the one to give it to me. I won't accept it from... anyone else. You have to promise me, Kresnik. Okay. I promise, Yuli. Nothing's changed. I still hate you. How is sacrificing yourself the best option? How can there be anything good in making Yuli cry? I hate you, Kresnik. I hate you for making Yuli cry! But... I promise you. I promise I'll always protect Yuli. Together. 
along with your arm. I won't fail! <laughs> of negativity, such as the malice of dead souls, made it a wild arm. I don't think I'll be able to control it properly. Our only choice is to shut it down. I'm afraid that I can't let you stop the divine weapon, Paladian. Uh, Hauser? Goodbye. A single shield isn't enough. You won't last long. Countered and cancelled the attack? The kid really did it! And not a moment too soon! That arm, it's... You stopped me with a prototype arm? One that's lacking full power? I promised that we'd protect Yuli together! And besides, Kresnik's conviction is real! There's nothing lacking about it! Kresnik... Why? Why are we doing this?! I'm sorry, Ethelda. I've got to go. The accident at Vecleroom. It's in enemy territory. So why must you go? Is it because they call you a hero? <sighs> if so, I'm responsible for this curse which made you a hero. I'm going with you! No, you can't. It's too dangerous. And you know it as well. The heat and the toxins from the reactor will poison and devour everything in sight. Left unchecked, it's a threat to us all. The air we breathe, the land we live on, our entire world will be poisoned. I can't let that happen. But I... I also can't take you. I can't take the two of you with me. Hauser! I became an arm driver to rid this world of war and to provide a future for the coming generations. That's why I must go and shut down the reactor in Fecklerum. It's for the sake of the coming generations. As a woman, can't I dissuade you from facing certain death? Men are able to face danger only because their women are protecting the hearth and homes to which they'll return to one day. Besides, there's no need to worry. The arm I'm equipped with was originally created to repair the environment. I'll use the arm to shield myself and purify the heat and toxins. And even if it should break, all I have to do is regenerate. No, you can't! Yes, I can, and will do it. And I'll... I'll come home to you. So that's why. 
I need you to stay here. <laughs> You're going to be a mother soon. Surely you can understand. The children of the future deserve a peaceful world free of war and destruction. Why is he... But that's my... They betrayed me! I wanted peace. I wanted to put an end to war. For that, I chose to sacrifice my life. Yet why does war still persist? It is because humans desire it. If it's human nature to make war, then I'll just have to eliminate all of humanity. Eternal peace has no need for humans!
Let's get this party started! Now I strike. We'll take them head on! Silver Flame of Atonement, heed my call! Come together and destroy the enemy! Timing! Perfect! Spinning Slash! So we can keep moving forward! Restore the flames of fighting strength in my heart. Right! The trigger's in your hand! Can you keep up? I'll try! Keep it up! Here I go! I'm ready! Now we'll just wrap things up! Let this be a warning! Go. Make good use of it, you two! Leave it to me! Do it together, Jude! Raquel! Go ahead, Jude! Okay, let's combine our power! Huh? With this one swing! With all my conviction! Unleash it all at once! For the sake of those who will live in the future! We can't look back! Ah! If we put our hearts together... That's right! The future's wide open! We will break the chains of conflict! We'll show them what that means! Ah! One last time! Lend me your power, Krasnick! Because you're with me! I refuse to lose! Everyone has things they care about in their hearts! To keep them from destroying everything! We'll go as far as it takes! Put your hearts together! Yeah! Ugh. This won't hold for long! I know! How about this? Now it's my turn! You're hey, in the way! First I'll just push this! Wait! What are you doing? Ah! My body's moving on its own! And the ball is out of the park! It's more than out of the park! <laughs> Here I go! Yeah! 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 It's been more than ten years since the end of the war. Some even claim that the post-war period has come to an end. But is it really over? Have the raging flames of war been extinguished? Can the people sleep peacefully through the night? For those who would seek the truth, allow me to clear the veil from your eyes. The war is not over! The chaos which gave rise to the war continues. A growing anarchy threatens to blot out our future like a dark cloud. Yet piercing this darkness is a lance, a weapon of conviction. This lance is Brionac, and we shall herald the future! It looks like all our elite peers are assembled. Oh really? All of us? But what about Commander Kresnik and Jeremy? And besides... Silly Heath, he got himself killed a long time ago. So it's impossible for all of us to get together anymore. Yes... Poor Heath. These gatherings are always so amateur. You'd never think this was a group of elite soldiers. 
If only I had gone out in a blaze of glory, I wouldn't have to suffer this ignominious fate. It's all right. Don't worry, my dear. The only one who's eager to die is that grisly old macho man over there. After all, I am a Crimson Noble. I won't be dying that easily. Scythe, if something were to happen to you, I don't know what I'd do. I'd probably lose my mind. Oh my, get a room, you two. Or maybe we ought to show them a thing or two ourselves, hmm? I, too, enjoy a good laugh every now and then. But perhaps now is not the best time, Commander Farmel. I have a special assignment for you all. This is a task pertaining to case number 354. We need to recover that girl, the test subject. I've dispatched Jeremy to get a head start on this mission. Well, now we know why Jeremy's not here. But that still leaves two questions. For one, none of us are amateurs. Each member of Brionek is equivalent to an entire battalion. Sending Jeremy alone should suffice. Why then are the rest of us here? The recovery of the girl is a top priority for our esteemed High Council. Though they didn't explain why the task was so important, failure is not an option. A group of tired old men chasing after an innocent little girl. Honestly, what is this world coming to? <sighs> and one more thing. We've confirmed the awakening of an arm. According to the reports, however, it doesn't appear as though the girl was wielding it. Arms. The legendary weapons of the noble war heroes. So, an arm-wielding warrior has appeared. Though I'm confident in Jeremy's abilities, the importance of this task makes it necessary for us to have backup plans. Very well. And I will be providing updates on the mission as they arrive. All right, here's another question. We're supposed to bring in that girl unharmed, isn't that correct? If that's the case, is Jeremy the best option? Considering his personality, I can't say he's an ideal candidate. He was assigned to this mission only because he happened to be on standby in this area. But there's no need for you to worry. We've already dispatched a gallant knight to watch over her. The Pale Rider! That makes sense! Commander Kresnik's really nice to girls! I see. Commander Kresnik is Jeremy's chaperone. He certainly fits the bill, but those two don't... exactly... Let's just say they don't get along so well. Indeed, Lieutenant. I just hope that those two will not let their personal feelings get in the way of their mission. Otherwise, as members of this elite unit, I'm afraid their punishment for misbehaving would entail much more than a mere spanking. <laughs> Oh. <clears throat> it's just that, well, your sense of humor is a bit different, you know? Well, they say an occasional joke or two is essential for good relations. I wish you'd learn to appreciate my jokes. <laughs> Og's words of wisdom are gonna have to wait. For now, my peers, we'll need to focus our energies on the task at hand. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get to it! shall soon be ours, and Yulia Trady. She is the key to bringing it about. The means to shape the future, and to think we once opposed this line of thought. It has been a long journey indeed to reach this point. Truths can only be seen from afar. The people are so ignorant. 
and their ignorance serves only to cloud the future of our world. Then we shall burn all of those clouds away. Democracy cannot illuminate the future, for only the chosen ones are able to do that. We who are the leaders of the future, we who are worthy to govern that future, we have the wisdom we have the power! There is but one thing we still lack. Yet, with the shrouded sword and the key to the seal, we shall overcome that as well. O oh, ye fates, bring us the girl, the key to the future. Guide us as we raise the divine weapon. From the depths of the earth! <laughs> <laughs> this far but can we actually get inside don't worry about that there's more to me than just my charm and my good looks <sighs> putting aside our nose overinflated ego we're all set to go well then let's get this party started <gasps> Are you crazy? If you don't keep it down, they'll catch us! Uh, yeah, that's it exactly! What? <clears throat> okay, let's try that again. <gasps> the prisoners have escaped! What are you doing, Arno? Hey kid, relax. This is all part of my plan, you'll see. Watch. They hear the word escape, and then all hell starts to break loose. They're so predictable. Never in a million years would they imagine that someone's about to break in. Arno! You are a master trickster! I guess I'll take that as a compliment, Jude. Raquel, let's do it. Something's headed this 
way. One, two, three. There's a whole bunch of them. What? You mean missiles? Should we dodge or shoot them down? You kids go on ahead and shoot straight for Illsvale. Gone. Lambda, your intentions aren't misguided. But you, you can't rush the results. Wasn't it all to protect the future of our world? And the people who live in it? Damn you, Lambda! Answer me! You have to listen to me! I won't let you destroy what you sought to protect! Even if I have to turn my guns against you! What, an 11th missile? Children going on to surpass those who have come before them. I've done all that I can. Now it's all up to you to go further. Go now. The future of the world is in your hands, children. Someday, I can be half the man that he was. But what can I do? Jude, Gon didn't sacrifice himself so that we'd turn around and dwell in the past, right? <gasps> You're right. Now's not the time for looking back. Our journey still lies ahead. Birds chirping. Just like... that day. Like... death incarnate. Raquel! 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 Raquel? Raquel! 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 Man, I'm starving. Welcome back, every... What's wrong? What did you drag back with you? What are you talking about? Ah! Uh, I'm not a bear. A monstrous bear man thing, then! Oh, man. Bears, bears. What's with the bears, kid? Do I look like some kind of a bear to you? I'm just a starving man in search of some grub. What you got there? Sure smells tasty. By the way you're acting, you sure seem like a bear to me. I haven't eaten in five days. For the love of all that's holy, please give me some food. Oh, hey, what's in the pot? Looks delicious. No! What's the matter with you, Yuri? It isn't like you to... No! You can't have any! We haven't adjusted the flavor yet. It isn't fit to be eaten. <sighs> Come on, don't be so stingy! I'm friggin' starving here! <laughs> I don't care! It doesn't matter what it tastes like! Yes, it does! 
And if you don't care, I don't want you eating it. Oh, I can't take it anymore! Mister? I saw you rush out to rescue the dog. I intended to do so myself, but it looks like you beat me to it. Uh... I think the coast is clear now. Can't believe we're sparring this early in the morning. All it does is make you hungry. Even if I cut class, I don't think my stomach will cut me a break. Oh well. Maybe I'll sneak back home and see if Mom will fix me a snack. How can that kid be so strong? Is this truly the power of arms? I can't believe it. The kid did it. <laughs> he beat those soldiers. Uh, hey. What's the matter? A resistance impulse! Leon! He can't control it! Just for fighting. You must try not to let it consume you. Thank goodness. We got rid of those jerks, didn't we? Uh... It's Yuli. Yuli Atreide. And it's all because you kept your promise. Thank you, Jude. and withdraw. This man you see here, he's responsible for all of this. Though we can't ask for your forgiveness, I want you to know that we had hoped for a peaceful resolution. If you think I'm gonna just... Jude, listen to me. Now is not the time for this. More importantly, we have to escape from here. But Mom, they're the ones that attacked us! But what about your friends? We have to help them, right? 
Aren't you all coming? We'll be escaping very soon. But there are some things we must do first. We'll leave as soon as we're done. I've got all the documentation together. If only we had gone ahead and thrown it all away, this never would have happened to us now. That may be so. Mom! Oh. I guess it can't be helped. No one can remain a child forever. Your hidden abilities were awakened today. Whether or not you come to regret this day, you must decide that for yourself. But, Mom... Hurry up and close the hatch. We'll be right behind you. Man, everything's gone crazy. It's all my fault. No, those stupid soldiers are to blame, not you. Hey, we've got more important things to worry about right now. Like, will this escape pod really work? We're pretty high up, you know. I won't insist that you eat quietly, but can't you behave in a manner that is befitting for your age? It's embarrassing for the rest of us to watch you behave like that in public. Oh, we got ourselves a tough girl, eh? Well then, <laughs> why don't you serve us instead? You are beyond uncouth. Disgusting. What did you say? I know a thing or two about swords, but unfortunately, charming isn't part of my repertoire. I'd be happy to give you a taste, but I may fall short of your expectations. <laughs> Never mind. Come on, let's go find another joint. Yeah, the food's bad, the waitress isn't worth looking at, and even the customers are lame. Better leave or we might become like them. She'll learn her lesson sooner or later. Ladies and gentlemen, the Silver Star Express Charter is now departing from the station. The train! Yeah, but the train's already taken off. What's wrong with Jude? Jude's mother is on that train! What? Isn't that... That melody. Yes. It's the song. The one I used to listen to. 
Someone must have forgotten it. Then what should we do? Why don't you keep it, Yuli? Huh? Yeah. Hang on to it until someone comes back and claims it. You're just trying to get out of being responsible for it. What do you mean? You wouldn't want me to lose it, would you? <laughs> Look at us. We're acting like Arnaud and Raquel. Hey, Jude. What? What are you going to do? What do you mean? In the future. I'm going to help develop this place. No. I mean a little further down the line. Like when we're older. I'm not really sure. It's hard to say. But one thing's for certain. I'll never let my doubts stop me from moving forward again. I'm going... I'm going to face the future head on. And not get mired in the past to become more than I am today. After all, I want to measure up to all those who came before us and make them proud. Think I can do it? <laughs>